Hello everybody, this is Moments with Misty Candid Conversation. It is Saturday and I am here with Amber and we are talking about being gay, lesbian, bisexual, the whole nine. Now, as most of you know, I bat for both teams, so to speak, and I happen to be with Amber. So, her and I did a little kiss to begin with to show you that it's not as gross as you think and it's not all about sex. Most people think that when you're in a relationship with someone of the same sex, that it's all about sex. And that's all it's about. Well, it's really not. And Amber and I are here to discuss that with you to kind of give some enlightenment on at least how our life goes. Now, um... She is married to Robert, and so it's a little different of a lifestyle that we have, and it is a triangle, but it's more of a triangle with two parallels. So I'll let Amber explain that a little bit more because I don't explain things extremely great. Take it away, Amber. Okay, this is going to be a little bit weird, <laughs> to say the very least. Okay. Um, well, I am bisexual, obviously, I like men and women, and, um, it's very common, more common than you would think, but the problem is that there's a stigma attached to girls, especially when they're teenagers, because they have this idea when they're growing up that you're supposed to get married and have kids and you know the Stepford family as I call them and you know that's not necessarily true now it's a little more acceptable now to be a lesbian or a gay man but <clears throat> you know that's not always okay with your family especially in the case of um, Misty um, you know, some problems have arisen because of the situation that we have right here. Um, and this is a very complicated situation, uh, but it works. Um, now, of course, the first thing that you need to establish are boundaries. And you need to have rules because you can't go into something like this, especially if you have a significant other, a spouse, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, you can't go into something like this and say, I'm open to this, and then turn around and have something happen, and then blame your, your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend for that thing happening when you didn't set the boundaries or the ground rules before you went into it accuse them of cheating and whatnot. Yeah, you can't do that. You really can't. Because if you don't set those boundaries, they're really not stepping over anything. They're not. So, um, the way our situation works is um, Misty and I do have a relationship. Um, and so do Misty and Robert. Um, now, the relationship before anybody starts to go on some kind of crazy, wild sex fantasy thing. Tangent or whatnot. <laughs> right, that's, that, that's not always the case. Now, there are people who go out and have wild, crazy threesome sex. But, the relationship between me, or myself, Misty, and Robert is based more on mutual respect. We love each other and we're here for each other. Mm -hmm. You know, um, for instance, uh, Misty, as most of you know, has a couple of mental problems. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you wake up in the morning when you have some of those mental disability, mental problems, as I know from personal experience, you just don't feel like getting up and you cry. Well, it helps when you have somebody to go and cry on. It helps when you have somebody to go to and they can put your arm around you. 
and say, it's going to be okay because I love you and everything's fine. We're that, we are what, we are that foundation for her. That's what we do. You know, if she's in pain, we take care of her. That's the kind of relationship that we have. And vice versa. If they need me, I'm there for them as well. So, I mean, now I'm not going to exclude any kind of sexual activity because obviously people have needs. Mm -hmm. But as I said before, you have to have the boundaries and the rules, as I call them house rules, because... You know, something that, you know, I may be comfortable with, someone else may not be comfortable with. Or what I'm not comfortable with, someone else may be comfortable with. Okay. Now, the house rules here probably aren't going to be gone over. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, a good rule of thumb is to sit down with your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, and talk about something like that. Because if you're actually having thoughts or... or doubts about your relationship then maybe you should talk about that with your with your spouse or your your boyfriend or girlfriend because if you feel like that towards someone of the same sex then that's probably been there for a while and you've just suppressed it mm -hmm. and a lot of people will be open to that it's not always oh my god it's horrible get out it's not right. always like that a lot of people will be open to that like my husband was very open to it when I told him about it he asked me if it if I had ever thought about it, and I was honest with him, and I said yes. He said, okay, well, let's get a girl in here. Because I hate to be the one to break this to you, but guys, every girl has thought about having sex with another girl. Unfortunately, the true lesbians do not want to suck your dick. That's a given. They want to they wanna have sex with a woman... And you're just not going to get in there, I'm just saying. 